Hello and happy spring. My name is Lauren Phillips and I am so thrilled and so excited to share with you today more about me and my school counseling philosophy. Um, so through this video, I hope you get a better sense of who I am, more about my personality and my counseling style. Um, so again, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I am thrilled to be able to speak more to you um, about my experience thus far and a career that I have found extremely rewarding and care deeply about. So diving right in to my philosophy. Uh, my philosophy is every student should have an equitable experience that meets their individualized needs. Uh, then fostering and promoting a healthy relationship to aid in their success. Um, I have achieved this by collaborating with other teachers, staff members, families, and community members to meet and advocate for my students' social, emotional, career, and academic needs. Through my optimism and my dedication, my students feel extremely valued and safe with me. So I really want to hone in on the equitable piece. Um, the school district I work in now is a urban school district, but as you all know, um, every student that walks through those doors of the school is going to come in with different backgrounds, with different strengths, with different areas of concern, with different um, resources that they have at home, different family dynamics, etc. Um, every student is going to need that individualized support, whatever that may be. So what I have found extremely successful is meeting each student where they're at, um, learning more about them, working with them to see how can I help them? What individually do they need to be successful in and out of the classroom? Because that's ultimately what we're doing and what I'm striving to do is help these students become respectful, responsible, wonderful citizens and wonderful young adults. Um, and children in our schools. And I absolutely love my career. I love my students. And through that philosophy, I have found the most success and the best relationships thus far. Um, and a little bit more about some of the relationships I've formed. One particular that I want to talk to you about, um, mainly for the equitable piece again, but to share a little bit more um, about myself with you is I have a student currently, we'll say her name's D for confidentiality purposes. D first came to our school last year when she first moved to America. She did not speak English yet, um, as well as she is walker and wheelchair bound due to paralysis in both of her legs. So as you can imagine, it was very overwhelming for her. It was very challenging at first and she was very fearful of her school environment. Um, when I first met her, I worked with her teacher and said, what do you need from me? Um, I worked with her parents as well, who are wonderful, wonderful people. Again, what can I do to help the student and to help the family? And what can I do for the teacher to help her as well? Um, and what I found was Dee just needed that person at school to be her cheerleader her strength, her support when she was having a tough day, when she was down and when she was frustrated, but also to share in her triumphs and the success that she's had these past two years. And this little girl has become so strong and so just a wonderful force. Um, and she is doing wonderful now. And I found that that relationship will always and forever be near and dear to my heart and being her person and meeting her where she was at, finding her individualized needs, needs, getting the resources and getting the relationship that she needed ultimately was her best success and something that I will never forget. And I hope you all are able to think of a student that you had or have now, um, that's near and dear to your heart. And you can think of that experience too. But for now, my time is up. Thank you so much for listening uh, to my philosophy, my story, and thank you again for this opportunity. And I hope one day in the near future soon, we'll have the opportunity to meet in person and you can get to know a little bit more about me. But for now, have a wonderful weekend and thank you so much. Bye.